Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have news coming from Dimension 5, creators of an amazing render engine known as D5 Render. Now, D5 Render is a GPU-based rendering engine that combines ray tracing and rasterization techniques to give you perfect looking renders at the end of the day without you spending so much time waiting for those renders to come out. Now, they've also gone ahead to publish the 1.6 version, which is the very first commercial version that is ever released by them as they've just come out from beta 2 and this in itself makes a lot of sense as a lot of people would now have you know access to using this for production now this version that is also released comes with a couple of features and there is a huge ton of updates that we would also go through and talk about before now we've actually talked about the d5 render we talked about the beta we talked about so many things that they've actually been coming up with but it's very interesting to see that we have 1.6 right here and the truth about this is the 1.6 is of two variants so there is a community version which is very interesting and i love them for doing this so if you want to play with the tool you want to get started with it you want to use this you want to get some you know get some things up and running but you don't have the big buck to pay for the commercial version you can actually use this one totally for free and then once you're ready to make that huge purchase you can simply go ahead and make that purchase so with this said we're going to dive directly into dimension 5 and take a look at what they've been doing over a period of time and what and what you should expect and with this said let's simply jump right into it. all right so with d5 render open you can see that we have a very cool scene that is made available by the guys at dimension 5 this is a demo scene i'm gonna put a link where you can get this and it's very interesting to see that you can literally move around your scene you can upbeat around it and you can also have real-time ray tracing and real-time rasterization happening this is made possible by the nvidia technology that they've actually implemented and a huge shout out to them for actually going ahead to add the rtx technology and right here you can see because we're running an nvidia rtx 5000 we can take advantage of the high quality settings here and get this render happening really quick so with this said there's still some other improvements there's improvements to the enhanced volumetric lighting you can take a look at this right now and if i go over to where we have the lighting i can make setting changes and from here let's simply say maybe i'll change the time of the day to maybe something like that i can go over to the filter section and i can start throwing in some volumetric light so we can throw in the fog density and then we can choose to scatter this however we choose I can still go back to this other section and then I can also try as much as possible to get some pretty cool lighting happening here and all of these things are happening in real time so it just makes a lot of sense you know to see the whole idea about this and the fact that you can get real-time feedback when you're working with a tool like this this is just pretty pretty awesome the camera clipping has also been worked on there is also a keyframeable stuff that you can now do so for example if you want to keyframe this if you want to create a movie right now you can easily create movies with this so some things are available for persons that have the purchased version and some things are also available for persons that are actually using the community version and i like the idea that there's a community version don't get me wrong but you need a pro version to get access to some of the other things if you're trying to do a basic frame render of course you can do that by simply using the community version but then if you want to do things like animation then you need a pro version for that to happen now let's talk about the assets so the assets itself has also been reworked as you can take a look and you would notice that right here you're all in English previously this was not in English but now we have them in English if you go over to the model you also notice that we also have a couple of models here these models are for free which you can use as you know a community person you know if you're using the community version you can simply use this one for free but then these other ones on the other side they are only made for pro users and these are being sponsored by render people so render people are you know partners with the guys at dimension 5 right now and you can see the models that we have here and we've already talked about render people before and how you can actually you know get free characters from them and how you can use them and it's pretty cool to see that you have access to some of this content and you can simply load them into your scene and proceed to work with them there's also updates to the lighting there at the same time there's update to the lots if you want to change lots you can simply go ahead and make changes to the lot and you can see you're having that real-time feedback as you you work with this and for me i also think that within the time where we did the whole testing for the beta that we had issues with the clay model so if you simply turn on clay model previously you had to you know wiggle around the scene for a while maybe just shake the scene a little bit turn the scene off turn it back on before you can see those things happening 
but now if you simply turn this on you would be able to see a clay version of the render that you're working on and this is quite huge as most people would want to also have you know maybe a clay version of the models before they proceed to get you know the final one probably if they're trying to just figure out the lighting and figure out certain parts i think this is also going to be very very useful for most persons so with this said we can also go ahead and take a look at how you can make movies with this so for this i have actually gone ahead to switch from here which is the render and then switch over to video so if you jump over to video you would notice i've already gone ahead to make a couple of these things i'm just going to go ahead and delete them so that you guys can see how we can get this up and running so for the very first one i'm going to set this as it is this is the, the shot which we want and you can still go ahead and save your shots how you want them to be so if you've not seen how you can make these shots in sketchup and bring them right here I'm going to put a link in the description where you can check out the previous video where we talked about this and with that said you can notice that we have various shots right here so all of these individual shots are stuff that you can save from sketchup and you can bring them over to dimension 5 and you'll be able to have access to all of them as you just simply walk around the scene and with these shots it's very easy for you to go ahead and you know create an entire movie timeline and use these things for your own advantage so i'm going to start up with the very first one which is this and i'm just going to go ahead and click on shoot if i switch over to the next Next shot probably something like this as well I'm also going to add this up so if I go back and press the playback button you would notice that we're having a real-time viewport playback and you notice that we need little to no render as this actually just travels through by simply using the power of the RTX card that has been implemented this in itself makes it even way more easier for you to go ahead and work with stuff there's also a simplified material palette the GI and also the memory usage has also been heavily influenced and you know worked on so if I go back and you know take a look at something let's take a look at some other scene probably a scene like this and you know plug this in right here i can also go back from here and you know play this back if you want to change the settings you can change the settings all of these beautiful things i'm very excited to see that you know this is now finally finally production ready for anyone who wants to work with it so the same idea that goes across the previous version of you know this tool that we talked about is still here the only difference is they've gone ahead to actually make it even way better for anyone who wants to use it if you're trying to render this you can render all the way from you know 480 to 2k but then if you want to get this you know crazy you know animation going up to 4k then you need a pro version at the same time for you to actually render anything out of here you need a pro version as once i go ahead and click on render a video it pops up you know the login details and this is a pro version feature that you might want to unlock so this is about it and of course i would like to know what you guys think about this beautiful tool right here dimension 5 1.6 is now available for anyone who wants to get it and it comes with a load of features that you would probably find interesting if you're into architectural rendering and this in itself might simply save you some time so for sketchup artists for you know 3d studio max artists anyone who's trying to just simply get things up and running you can take a look at the full list of features that is coming with this i'm gonna put a link in the description for you to find that and this in itself comes at a cost of 480 dollars which you might want to pay if you want to own this content forever and that's definitely going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section if you want to download the free community version i'm going to put a link in the description for you to see that and yeah tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section this is an amazing tool has a whole lot of hype and a whole lot of functionalities that it comes with and if you're interested in playing with this tool you can simply grab this and start playing with it and if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace